We would all love those pristine gardens without a weed, but weeds are relentless and they're the bane of most gardeners' lives. Now, there are things you can do to help relieve the pressures on yourself as a gardener and dealing with weeds. But first we need to look at what those weeds are and what we can do to prevent those weeds coming back time and time again. And that's coming right up after this. So weeds, why are we getting them? Well, we all know that adage that bare soil doesn't stay bare for long. But this is nature's way in protecting that soil and stopping soil erosion and stopping it being blown away by the winds and drying out and everything else. It also protects all the soil microbial life because it gives them something to feed on. Because if the soil was just barren, then it would just turn to sand like the Sahara Desert. So what are weeds? Well, weeds are stated as plants that are in the wrong location or a plant that's not desired. Now, this is a weed because I don't want it there. Does that mean that this courgette plant here, which is doing pretty well, be a weed? Well, yes, it's a weed if I don't want it. Now, weeds come in all shapes and sizes. Now, there are two different types. There's perennial weeds and then there's annual weeds. Now, the annual weeds are not so much of an issue because they germinate, they grow, and they seed all in one year, and then they, they're gone, but they've left seed behind. And they're quite easy to take control of because what we can do with annual weeds is we can keep hoeing them off. Now, if we can remove those weeds before they seed, we break the cycle. So annual weeds are much, much easier to get hold of and control of. And then next, we've got the perennial weeds. Now, these are the weeds that are really hard to deal with and these are the ones that people struggle with the most. As you can see here, my soil is absolutely clean and I've got no more uh, weeds growing here. That's not to say that I didn't have them growing here. What I did was I kept those holes busy. Now there are multiple holes available and I've got three or four here. We the important thing about holes is to keep them sharp so that they cut off the tops of those annual weeds. But with perennials, cutting the top off makes no difference because these perennial weeds, they send roots right down. Now, with annual weeds, you cut them tops off and those roots are right down there. They have a store of energy that they can put up a new top. So cutting the heads off doesn't make much of a difference. And they have some really good strategies in being able to remain and survive as a plant. Some of them will send roots way, way, way down. And it doesn't matter how far down you go, they get finer and finer and finer. And they are able to regrow just from the smallest amount of root. Others like bindweed, it's an absolute nightmare for me down on the fruit plot, as you can see here. But bindweed, this absolutely strangles everything and if it's not kept on top of then it will choke out the plants that you want to grow but bindweed is quite a hard weed to control it any small piece of root will allow the plant to continue growing so you really must dig it out the other way to kill off these weeds are things like mulches. Now, as you can see here, we have no weeds around here and we've used a wood chip mulch here. And that helps to suppress the weeds because if the seed that is on the soil can't get light, then they can't germinate. And secondly, it also uh, suppresses the annuals coming through and they're much easier to take off and spot when they come through. Because when they come through, if you can remove them straight away, if you're taking the top off constantly, that plant is having to use energy from the root tubers to put a new top on, which it will then photosynthesize and get new energy. But if we can interrupt that and take the top off every time it comes through, then we prevent that getting the light it needs and eventually it'll weaken that root system and that plant will die. Killing off all these sorts of perennial weeds uh, is, takes a long time. So you really need to be on top of things. And like I said, mulching with things like wood chip or even a membrane, black plastic, or even cardboard can help 
to alleviate the light getting to these plants and they can take over a year or more sometimes to really make a dent in them so if you really want to make a dent in those weeds you really need to be on top of things you need to be hoeing constantly and that will take care of all the annuals don't be churning over your soil all the time instead maybe revolve to a no dig method where you're putting compost on top that will stop bringing those annual seeds to the surface remember guys for every year of seed that those plants are able to drop that's going to cause you six or seven years in order to get rid of all that seed so um, if you can prevent them coming to the surface in the first place then that is going to do a lot to dealing with those weeds germinating and if you're hoeing them off eventually that will take care of the problem for you so if you want a nice clean plot and a nice clean garden then you can have it you just got to put a little bit of thought and effort into it and use the membranes and the mulches and the hoe that's the, one of the most important tools in the garden these days is that hoe keep on top of those weeds as they just pop their head through and you're going to be golden anyway guys i really hope you've enjoyed this episode if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget the bell notification icon and you won't miss any further videos i'm tony o'neill this is uk year we grow and remember you reap what you sow i'll see you in the next one bye bye